Josh's Order Corner. That's me. This one's going to be a little difficult because I don't know a lot about this band. And I tried to find stuff, but everything seems to be out of date. Even their bio on Equal Visions. I think that's the record label. Maybe they're not on it anymore. I really don't know. So I ordered this back on September 7th. It's been a long wait. Today is April 5th. It is here. And we're going to crack it on open. And again, I don't know a lot about this band. I just know that I dig them. I really enjoy them. Uh, the first time I came into contact with them, they were opening for uh, Manchester Orchestra and Balance Composure, I believe. That, I think that was the show. And they were fantastic. And there are some interesting similarities and vibes between the band and Manchester Orchestra. Uh, I think Andy Hall produced one of their albums or their friends, something like that. Like I said, I don't know a lot about this band. I just know that I enjoy them. It was another show that every time I die, Taking Back Sunday and this band right here all get out, toured together. And Emily fell in love with them immediately to the point where uh, we were trying to get to their, trying to get some merch from them and nobody was at their booth. And Keith Buckley at the time of Every Time I Die, was walking around, and I was like, holy shit, Keith Buckley. She's like, oh, cool. And asks him to find someone from All Get Out to come sell her merch. And it was the funniest thing in the world, because all these people are, like, rushing to Keith Buckley to try to get, like, a hug or a high five, and she's just like, hey, where's the All Get Out guys? It was funny. This is their newest release. This is a self-titled release. Uh, and if I look here, because I'm cheating, it came out last year, 2023, and it looks like it is one, two, three, four, five. No, one, two, three, four, five. It's their sixth album. So before this was 2022's Kodak, 2018's No Bouquet, 2016 Nobody Likes a Quitter, The Season in 2011, and then Self Titled in 2008. Nobody Likes a Quitter is my favorite. Kodak was so good, but the vocals were so quiet, you couldn't really hear them all that well. And that really bummed me out. So I was really hoping that this one wouldn't have that problem. And I'll be honest, this is an indie record, uh, an indie band. I don't listen to a lot of indie stuff, but I enjoy them. I haven't made it a point to really spin this or stream it or anything so far. Um, and that's on me. So I haven't given it much of a listen. Here is the insert here, the lyrics on this side. I believe, let's see, All Get Out is Nathan Hussey, guitars, vocals, Kyle Samuel, guitars and keys, Dominic uh, Nastasi, drums and synth, and James Gibson on bass. There's been a lot of lineup changes. I believe they're from North or South Carolina. Uh, as a group, I'd like to thank Nick and Chris for having our backs no matter what. Let's go ahead and take a look at the vinyl variant itself. Oh, that's cool. It's like a nice pink, gray, silver look to it. Uh, but it's almost rocky versus like a splatter. It looks a lot better with the light behind it. I will say that. How's it looking on your end? Okay. So it looks great. Now, this album, like I said, it came out in 2023. So sometime last year. Uh, and I have not listened to it all the way through because I'm a terrible, terrible person. It is made up of Trouble, Out of Pocket, Around It, Come Back Around, Sleep Paralysis, Windows 98, Incursive, Sounds the Same, Trending Back, and Hamill. Ten tracks of indie rock, Phenomenal Bliss. And let's go ahead and listen to Windows 98 off this album. Little upbeat feel. Maybe I'm a good one, this and that will never do a good thing. I can hear the lyrics, so that's good. Shall we breathe in and about thinking about the way of what that means? Riding with the Louis foot, beat the end of the water with the seal. 
Alright. <laughs> both of those so reminiscent of the car. It's so unique. It's not going to help, but it's got to stick to it. I like the beat to it. They want you the branch creep, make you think you need them the most. Hug you like I love you, hug you too, there's nothing but you know. It would be great and easy to sing along. Everything would like close. I wanna be still, I'd rather be here, say you know when I'm lying. I think vinyl with white and gray sweater. Thing is breaking all my bottles. Instead, I dropped you with all the embarrassing. At once, it found me. You're such a goddamn man. This is the first solo coming in. A little visualizing if it is interesting. I haven't seen them touring. I haven't seen any announcements of touring. I don't know if they're really still at it or what. This is the kind of band that if I'm cleaning, if I'm just laying around, if I'm trying to keep my myself relaxed and just enjoy a moment, this is the kind of music I like having in the background. So I, I enjoy them. I feel like this track really makes me appreciate and really want to dive into this album as a whole. Like I said, their last one was was good, but you couldn't hear the vocals very well. It was just a bad mix. Uh -oh. It was just a bad mix, and that really bummed me out. So, I'm going to set some time aside to listen through the whole All Get Out self-titled album that just came out in 2023. I hope you do the same. If you're into that indie rock feel, this is a band for you. If not, this is probably not a band for you, but I hope we find something that you enjoy next time. Every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern, Vinyl Ventures. do 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 do